Shane looks like the clouds are on the increase outside this afternoon. They really are, and I expect a few showers roll into hazard any minute now. Check out the view outside the studio, and it's looking a little ominous. Uh, the thunderstorms heading our way, not too much bite with them. I think the uh, sky's looking a little worse than what the actual rain it's going to produce will be. We can see on pinpoint Doppler. Uh, there's a bit of shower action just to the south of Hazard and that is lifting to the east, northeast. So from Hazard over to Hyden, be on the lookout uh, for showers over the next few hours. That will extend over into Hindman, over into uh, Knott County as uh, that rain system works off to the north and the east. You can also see scattered showers from northern Laurel County back up into Rock Castle, Jackson County. Uh, most of Pulaski County seeing a little bit of rain right now. Same story down in Harlan County. Uh, the Big Sandy, you're saying, Shane, what rain? It's just cloudy and it's warm. Hang in there. A few showers may roll up through Prestonsburg and Paintsville, Sayersville here in about the next, oh, two to three hours or so as that rain system continues to lift off to the north and the east. Just a little cold front off to the east, and you can't really tell too much of a difference in the temperatures today. We're only two or three degrees cooler than we were this time yesterday, but it was just enough to spark off those showers and storms. But once again, more severe weather down in the plains, this time down into the panhandle of Texas and back along the front range of the Rockies. Now that storm system will make a run at us as we go into the weekend. That's something we'll keep a close eye on. But in the meantime, scattered rain showers through the evening. We'll see cloudy skies tonight, some dense fog to start off your Friday. And temperatures tomorrow top out in the low 80s with a few hit or miss storms tomorrow. I don't think everyone sees rain tomorrow, but I think a few of those afternoon thunderstorms will fire up again thanks to the heat and the humidity. You can see as we take a look at the surface map, a few afternoon storms trying to pop up for Friday. Much better chance Saturday afternoon. Now Saturday morning and early afternoon through about 2 or 3 o'clock should be okay. It's once we get into the late afternoon, that's when those storm chances will really ramp up. So if you have outdoor plans for the weekend, try to get them in Saturday morning or early Saturday afternoon because after that, the rain chances really ramp up. The rain chances for tonight die down once the sun sets. We'll go into the 60s overnight. 80s again tomorrow. You can see hit or miss thunderstorms. Not everyone will see rain tomorrow. Better chances of widespread rain Saturday, especially during the evening, but we start the day off mostly dry. It's not until early to mid afternoon when those thunderstorms should fire up and then eventually work their way off to the east. You can see pretty good coverage of rain by Saturday evening. Here's a look at that seven day forecast where your weekend's always in view. 30% chance tomorrow, 50% Saturday, 60% Sunday and Monday. And then temperatures dip a little bit to begin the new week. Low 80s as that uh, frontal system rolls through. But that's not going to be too much of a reprieve from the heat. We're back to the mid to upper 80s by the end of next week. All right, Shane, thank you very much. Straight ahead on first at four.